started to develop education system back in 2005 and my mom was the founder of education system and um, originally it was the only uh, education system in Russia which was preparing athletes for like top level and then with time it developed into the whole system where uh, the biggest difference was that we have not only the educational courses but also training Freelivers can progress from any level, from the very beginner's uh, level to like really high level and uh, participate in the competitions, even if it's like li lifestyle competition, not really like a top level competitions. And uh, this um, connection between courses is really important and that's what really separates us from other education systems. Uh, the development started in 2005 and uh, from 2005 till 2018 we had a motional education system as a part of Freedom Federation and uh, we moved it under motionals in 2018 just to uh, develop it worldwide as a company. Another benefit of the system is that we have very fast speed of development of the system and we can adapt it to the like, newest uh, like newest demands of the industry very quickly because everything is online and uh, we can change instantly all the education materials and training materials very fast and we have a team of passionate freedivers who work how to improve it like all the time and we don't see this education and training system as business only and all the team which works on it, that we are all freedivers, so it is a lifestyle for us and that's our strength that we are all developing the system which we personally use for our own training, for our own development and for our like friends who do freediving, so like, we literally like do it as like freedivers for freedivers uh, company. various other sports and I've always done my best to be at the, at the top level. Um, I kind of realized that excellence doesn't happen accidentally and it's more of a way of life and if you're excellent as an athlete you definitely want your education to be excellent as well and pretty much all the people around the Molchanov's education system are excellent athletes so they really know their game and I'm really proud to be a part of that team. Being involved as a coach previously and being a kind of a professional educator throughout life um, my interest in freediving education came as soon as my interest in freediving appeared. I've, I've been an instructor in several associations, but I, I can't say I completely could kind of stand behind any of them. Uh, because of the classical education system flaws. And this is a system actually that kind of makes these flaws go away because it's constantly up to date and it, it keeps changing, it keeps evolving, it keeps accepting new new stuff and the new grounds that break through in freediving. Literally every day there, there are meetings and, and the materials are formed and made better and better and better. And this is really important, especially in a field like freediving, which is quite new and you, you have all those emerging facts that are new pretty much every week, every month and it's important to be on the ball with this if you want to have a, a proper education. And this is the force that this system has and it's definitely one step ahead in this, in this field uh, from other systems. The, the point behind the system is to 
get anyone who wants and as advanced as they could be to reach and maximize their potential. For this you need other sorts of training, other approaches rather than just freediving. And the base training concept in the future is going to go towards this way to, to build complete athletes which are really good freedivers and healthy individuals. It's a general fitness and lifestyle and wellness concept uh, revolving around freediving. So the big difference in the uh, training and education approach is that a very big focus is on the pleasure and on the joy from freediving because um, breath hold is a pretty intense thing for human being and if you really try to improve fast, if you try to like get good results too fast, it actually burns you out and like you lose the pleasure from training and uh, like a big focus like that we have is that to progress with the baby steps, progress really smoothly, to enjoy training, to have a good growth but with a reasonable pace which uh, doesn't allow for overtraining and that's very important because it's easy to do like a long breath hold fast uh, but then lose their desire and passion for, for that because it's just too hard for the nervous system and uh, uh, in, in general, we like that's how I was able to stay for long in sport and keep diving for many years because I really enjoy diving and when I'm training, I'm training hard, but I also try to not overtrain myself. And then on the on the like top level, it's you know, it's easier to uh, like train at higher intensities, but on the beginner level, it's very very important to like actually enjoy uh, free diving you know, like more than actually push and try to progress fast. Thank you.